All right, welcome back to another little mini episode of the laser build. In this package, I have a few parts that we're going to use to make the table or make the table move. And what we're going to do in this episode is to machine the lead screws Oops. like that so that they fit onto bearings and can be mounted into the laser frame. Okay, let's see what's inside. All right, there's the money. Sh oh, well, isn't too exciting, is it? Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, we can re get rid of that. Open that up. Ah, oh, damn. This is not looking too well. <coughs> Would you look at that? These are different lead screws. Well, okay, so I've taken a look at the invoice and yep, I definitely ordered the wrong ones. That's annoying. They aren't really expensive, but they will take another week to arrive, which is the really annoying part. Well, at least the precision rods are the correct ones. Man, I like this movement. That's going to be great. Okay, given that um, I can't actually... I shouldn't machine this, because it's not the right threaded rod. Um, for this week, I think um, you're just going to have to trust me that I'd actually machine this myself. And I'm going to show you right now what kind of features this has. And then we're going to turn another feature for this pulley. Starting with this end, we've just got a bearing journal for this well, for this bearing here. You can just put it on and that's going to be fine. And then we've got the other bearing journal over here. And we will be able to put this on here and then use the nut to actually fasten this into place so that it actually can't slide off like it just did. Uh, but I forgot to actually turn a journal for this because we'll have to put that on here. And well, this is what we're going to do now. All right, so let's get started with the turning. I've got this pulley here and I'll just mark off where I have to um, stop machining the threaded rod. Should be around here, it doesn't have to be a precision fit actually. Uh, like this. All right, it's just gonna mark this. There it is. Now, I think you're seeing the same thing. This isn't really centered up well, but I'm not turning a uh, bearing journal here. This inner diameter is actually a little bit bigger than six millimeters. So I think we're gonna get away with this. You know what? Let's support this. Man, these drills are really bad. Just another tip for you, when you buy machining equipment, don't just buy the very cheap stuff off of eBay. It really isn't worth the hassle. Oops. All right, there we go. The interesting thing is that they only really work when you orientate them like this. That really shouldn't be the case, but I don't know, man. All right, I've got the center point in there. And that's working great. All right, let's see where we're at. Well, it looks like... 6.6 millimeters to me. So we've got another, oh, I don't know, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 to remove. Well, 
Okay, so that's not a A-bomb 79 like perfect polished bearing journal, but I think it's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. Nice. All right, here we are back from the lathe and all I did is just uh, recut this thread using just a normal die because the nut didn't fit on that so well. So I'm just going to explain what we're going to do now. I've got this 3D printed piece here and a bearing lightly pressed into that so that's not going to move. And then I've got this little clamp thingy printed out as well. You could th put the second bearing in there, then close the screw and this thing is not going to move as well. Okay, so let's just put this on there. Oh yeah, that's a nice clunk sound, just like I wanted. Then we put this bearing on here, this way. This actually should press in there. Uh, we're just gonna hammer. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not really good at machining perfect uh, bearing journals. But this definitely, this is not moving anymore. This is perfect. Great. Now we just have to put the nut on here and tighten it up. And then we can screw this onto the, the laser frame and this won't move you know the same for this just put the bearing on man i'm not really great at machining these am i just some light pressing and that poor bearing okay but now it's moving you know the great thing about being an experienced machinist is that you never ever forget to put the nut on before actually Sealing this whole thing off with bearings. All right, would you look at that? I think that's gonna work. Now we have to repeat that four more times, but I don't think you guys wanna see that. So I'm just gonna mount this and end the episode there. Okay, so the way I'm going to mount this is to screw on this here and then the upper one. Alright, yeah, that should be fine. And a quick tip in there is just a normal M4 hex nut, like this one, and that actually works really well. So you don't have to buy these kind of wing nuts. Yeah, you can see it in detail here. As you can see, they really fit in there well. They have to be hex nuts from D912 though, because I know there are different norms for hex nuts and this particular nut really fits well in here. Alright, so just put it on here, screw it down, it's gonna be fine. Ah, as you can see, that's working real well. Oh yeah, I think that's could really use some grease. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. All right, folks, I think this is it for this episode. And I'm just gonna have to make four more of these kind of assemblies. The table is gonna sit on here and using this pulley, we were able to automatically rise and lower the table. And of course it's gonna be guided by these 12 millimeter rods. You may think, well, this is a little bit OP, isn't it? Well, imagine you want to engrave a tile, like a stone tile. Then it's going to actually be a lot of load on this. So I think that's going to be fine. 